Bork. Won an All Ireland minor six years ago, Paul Bork. Hoping to add to his collection and at least get into the final. And that's his second point of the match. Still one point between them. Plenty to talk about. And we just have about 13 minutes gone in the first half. Shane McGrath was up, comes back fast, Thomas Stapleton. Owen Larkin is there with the green and red helmet. There is club colours of James Stevens and Kilkenny City. Then goes for distance. Going up high is Noel McGrath. And on landing turns beautifully like a ballet dancer and hits that slitter straight over the black spot. And once again, Tipperary and Kilkenny are level in Croke Park, level for the third time. Yeah, and we saw his younger brother John in the minor match beforehand, scored a couple of great points from play, another uh, star in the making. And Noel McGrath, a great catch over Paul Murphy and straight over the bar. And we've seen some great high feeling so far. We've seen Kieran Joyce, two great catches, Brian Hogan, Richie Power. That's a great feature again uh, to date. David Herod, he's put out, comes down first. Conor Mahoney finds himself under pressure immediately from Richie Parr. Tenacious, hard work by TJ Reid. It's hard to stop once he gets the slipper into the hand. Gives it back, fires Michael Reid onto the left hand. And that is straight between the posts. Michael Rice, both midfielders for Kilkenny have now scored in this All Ireland semi final. But yeah. credit TJ Reid, he really worked hard. He did, Martin. The intensity in the tackling of the Kilkenny forwards is back today. Great catch again by Bonnermar. Bonnermar to Larkovic. Richie Power almost getting a block in, taking on the challenge. Power has to go back first. Thomas Stapleton. Stapleton flicks it back for his Buck again. Available is Shane McGrath. But Power Buck has the confidence to have a lash, but he sends it to the right and what? Yeah, but Mark, the tackling I was saying of the Kilkenny forwards maybe wasn't there in the Leinster final, but it's certainly there today. And particularly, as I said, when Tarek Mara gets on the ball, he's been surrounded very, very quickly. Tuck out goes straight down the middle. Richie Power got a touch, but it's Patrick Bonamar that gathers it. Goes long again down towards Noel McGrath. JJ Delaney sweetly giving it outside. As Kilkenny go for distance again. Down towards Owen Larkin, who's now operating at the edge of the square, despite number 12 in his back. Trying to get inside Paul Curran. Nips in Michael Cahal. Good stuff from the terrier like cornerback from Carlos Town. Wonderful play by the left cornerback. Kilkenny man down injured as the Tipperary lads go into the attack. Noel McGrath hits it, but the umpire is going to signal white. Remains six points to five. Getting a knock in that particular sequence was Paul Murphy from Dainsford. All-Ireland Intermediate medal back in 2010. And again, the words are being exchanged. And Cahill McAllister, the referee, is telling everybody to calm down. 16 minutes gone. We have 11 points between the two teams and plenty of talking points. Yeah, Paul Murphy got a heavy knock there. And, uh, you know, Tara Burke, a bad wide a minute ago. Noel McGrath, another poor wide there. And uh, I just... Kilkenny in the middle of the field, Michael Rice and Michael Fenley seem to be getting a bit of a foothold there and they're winning an off that position. Goes down for as Michael Fenley. Aidan Fogarty has already scored twice. Ball inside, hops nicely for TJ Reid. He has the space, Fenley is to his left, there's a goal opportunity. Oh, brilliant save by Brendan Cummins. The clearance is not made, here comes Owen Larkin, the pressure is still on Tipperary. It's inside the large rectangle, no penalty given. The ball comes out just a little bit, and it's a free out to the Premier County. But should it have been a penalty? Was it a free out? Michael Dyken. Well, that's a, that, that passage of play could be crucial in the game. Uh, TJ Reid straight through and goes, did the unselfish thing, passed it over to Conal Fenley. Brendan Cummins stayed in his feet very, very well. Then they failed to clear it, so we'll just get another look at Owen Larkin intercepted it here, gets the ball. And you know, there wasn't enough, let the held their ground of what it was supposed to do, and he, you know, he went to ground, so I think the ref got it right. Certainly looks like uh, that he did, as uh, the ball was over the sideline, there's a hard pull. And again, there's a little bit of uh, 
tension along the sideline. Let's just watch this again. Yeah, wild enough pull there with Tariq Maher, one-handed and tip win the line ball in. But that, you know, really, Kilkenny don't miss goal chances like that. That was a great chance of a goal and they didn't take it. And uh, it'll be interesting to see does that come back to haunt him. Not substitute on from Michael Rice. And Brian Cody uh, looks incensed as well and he's uh, coming out to John Sexton and uh, Said Brian Cody really annoyed, but he's very angry there as the ball continues on in towards uh, the lines where Tangle. Paul Murphy is back there. And Kate Kenny, you can see these two teams. There is an adrenaline rush on the pitch and growth back. Both of these counties are really determined to win this All Ireland semi final. Kate Kenny have introduced Killian Buckley for blood substitute as a blood substitute for Michael Rice. So if you see number 22, that's Killian Buckley. Up goes TJ Reid, brilliantly caught. Hits a shot, and it's a magnificent score by TJ Reid. Yeah, and he's been much more involved in the game. Just watch it again here. An absolutely brilliant catch. A player, you know, that comes into the game under pressure because, you know, when he started, it doesn't normally go as well as when he comes on as a sub. But that's a great catch and a great point, and he's really working hard so far in the game. But Kenny with a two-point advantage. Comes out first, JJ Delaney. Plays the ball down that far sideline. Out there first, Paul Kirk, ahead of Old Larkin. Goes high up towards Lark Corbett. Ball is there, available. Gathering is Brian O'Mara. Giving inside to Patrick Van O'Mara. But the referee's whistle is blown. And there is a free in for Tipperary. Yeah, Brian O'Mara again, as mentioned earlier, that's the second time he's been fouled for a free since the start of the game. Uh, you know, I think Tipper are going to be very happy with this, Marty. You know, if he puts this over, they're only a pint down. They really haven't settled down at all, and Kilkenny are doing most of the hurling, and yet they'll only be a pint ahead. And take Lara, Lara seems to be, you know, he's running all over the place, hasn't settled down, and I think Tipper are a little bit like that. He's getting involved, you know, doing a lot of talking to other Kilkenny players, and, you know, I think Tip need to settle, but they're going to be delighted only a pint down now at this stage. Work with his third point of the match, all of them from freeze, and now just one point between the teams. Batted away, and on the ground. Only far is Brian Hogan. He's going for it. Brendan Cummins, safe and sound as always, lays it off quickly. To his left corner back, Michael Cal. Lark Horner, first touch, hurler of the year 2010, skips away from the challenge, in first half ball. It's a third assertion and special, it could have been if it worked out. Pabok is on the floor, temporary players are protesting to the referee, and again, Carl McAllister is coolness personified. Yeah, great hand pass here by Lara, what he does into. Tarbrook and Tommy comes across there. Didn't see very much there again, and I think Colin McAllister again got it right. I don't think Tarbrook kind of hit the deck rather easily, to be honest. Well, he won't get soft freeze with Colin McAllister. No, that's for sure, but there's still Tipperary with the slipper. The referee has given a free end this time. As I speak. <laughs> But to be fair to Colin McAllister, the games I've seen him, he, he allows play to develop and he allows a lot of the physical Absolutely. side of the game. Here's Tarbrook there. And is it Tommy coming in from behind? Yeah, it was um, maybe just a little nudge on the back there. He does, he lets the game flow um, within the rules, I think. At the starter, he was sensible, there was a lot of stuff going on. And if he started pulling everything and pulling players aside, he would have stopped the whole momentum of the game. And he's let it develop and we've had a great first 20 minutes, plenty of good scores and it's settled down. In fairness, there hasn't been a dirty stroke in the game so far. This is Pabark. and the way he's, uh, the body language would suggest he might have a crack at this. He has the wind behind him. Here's Burke. Point for brilliantly stopped, comes back out to McGain. Still available. It's on the small rectangle, John O'Brien is there, and the umpire has his arm raised to say it is a 65 for Tipperary. But a brilliant shot from Pabark, but an equally brilliant save here. Just watch. He hit a rasper, stopped by Tommy Walsh. Yeah, it was a great save, and the rebound, if you watch Michael Fenley coming in after the rebound here, if it, if it goes to it, he made a, a very important um, interception, he got his hurling when Tarbrook went to Dublin. 
So Pavork going to take this 65. As James McGrath points to the exact position. Declan Ryan in his second year in charge. Of course, many of these young players were part of his temporary minor team to win in Ireland five years ago. Pavork looks, focuses, and hits it. Spot on. Four points for Pa Park in this All Ireland semi final, and the sides level for the fourth time. Yeah, and his free taking looks very, very assured today. And Kilkenny has to be careful giving away frees because he strikes the ball very, very well. Puck off by David Herity, and again it's TJ Reid. Brilliant under the high ball, down towards Finnelly. Takes the shoulder, skips away from Michael Cal, and goes towards goal with the short grip. That's a really, really quality point by Colin Finnelly. He took the hits, he worked hard, used the short grip and floated it over the bar. That's a super score, Marty. Great first touch and gets away. And you have to say all the Kilkenny forwards so far have looked to have the beaten of their men and yet they're only a, a point ahead. Loose ball comes out first, Brendan Maher. It's a shoulder and Brian Hogan. Killian Buckley is the number 22. Still on for the injured Michael Rice. Ball into specs. Paul Kern should get there first. Chased by Owen Larkin. I think Paul was already trying to decide what he was going to do with the slither rather than focusing on the ball itself. He apologises to everybody, but it's a soft 65 for Kilkenny. Great catch again there by TJ Reid. TJ Reid is brilliant under the high ball, isn't he? He is absolutely brilliant having a great game, but I was saying that the Kilkenny forwards throughout the field generally you couldn't say any temporary man is really dominating and yet there's only a point in the game and they'll be happy with that Henry Shuffle try and stretch the Cats lead to two from the 65 straight over the bar so with 24 minutes gone it's Kilkenny nine points Tipperary seven let's go down to the sideline to Claire McNamara uh, yes, Marty, we understand that Michael Rice, uh, just gone off there for a treatment for a hand injury, is now going to go to hospital, so his semi-final is over. Sad news for Michael Rice and a big blow indeed for Kilkenny. Thanks very much, Claire, as the ball goes back down in towards Conor O'Brien and Michael Cahill, both cornerbacks are there, half blocked by Finnelly. Cahill comes in to assist his colleague and uh, that goes out over the end line that's, that's a 65 it should be a 65 I think it was yeah I think it, looking at it initially I thought I thought it was a 65 we we'll get a chance to look at it again here if you look at Michael Cahill there he kicks it out over the line and that's definitely a 65 long puck out from Brendan Cummins right, once again it's Kieran Joyce out of that the Kenny defence full of heart full of spirit and I think that incident that Michael Rice when he hurt the hand um, to go back to it, it Tariq Mara came up and pulled a wild stroke with one hand on the sideline now he did it wasn't a, it was down on the ball but it was one handed and obviously the hurl flew up along and, and caught Michael Rice and that's why I think that's why Brian Cody got so animated at the time he wasn't happy about the, the stroke we believe it's a tendon injury in his hand we wish Michael Rice uh, a quick recovery as uh, Tipperary go back into the attack. And it's the first time that I've seen TJ Reid actually being beaten for a high ball, and that was by Tariq Maher. That's right, and that's the first time I think Tariq Maher's been in the game. And Tommy Walsh hasn't been in the game, and Lara Corbett hasn't been in the game. And, you know, it's amazing. You spend the week t talking about players, and sometimes, you know, it doesn't... It, the ball avoids them in the game or whatever, but it's a long way to go yet. And here comes Henry. To his right, Richie Power. To his left, TJ Reid. Shefflin had options available. Richie to his right, TJ to his left. He went left, and the result is what you see on your screen. Right.